let us know about the present status of media in India. Today, media has become a very important part of our life and we totally depend on the media for all the daily news and views. It is the tool for the transfer of information, concepts and ideas to the audience, the readers, listeners or viewers. Today, India is on the verge of becoming a powerful nation and we have witnessed the efforts of past and present governments in re-establishing the image of India globally as a developed nation, not only in terms of its economy but also its rich culture and heritage. Media has played an indispensable role in highlighting India's achievements in the field of science, technology and arts across the world. However, unfortunately, India is still tagged as a developing nation in spite of its vast achievements. In this scenario, it is believed the media has a great role to play by addressing the social, cultural and economic problems that are still pulling India down to the category of a developing nation. The media in the present scenario has changed by leaps and bounds in all respects. Be it journalism, production of newspapers, magazines, radio or electronic media, not to speak of the new media and the role of internet, there has been sporadic changes, so much so that history of the media, both pre-independence and post-independence is almost incomparable to what, in, what is taking place during modern era. India has over 900 satellite channels, more than 80 are news channels and 70,000 newspapers. The biggest newspaper market in the world with over 100 billion copies sold each day. Where else in the world would you find a landscape as rich and varied as India's with nearly 900 TV channels, over 550 radio stations, 100 million registered publications, 560 million people use the internet, 400 million are on the WhatsApp, 260 million on Facebook, 200 million use TikTok before its ban in India. 80 million have Instagram accounts. Telegram has over 30 million active users and 12 million Twitter accounts according to data by Sanam S4. <music> Let us know about an overnight change for millions. What happened? Suddenly, internet usage shot up among the Indian lower middle class. When Reliance Industries Limited, India's largest multinational conglomerate, launched Jio, a broadband service with exceptionally low tariffs that emerged as a complete digital services platform. Overnight, millions of Indians were able to access news, YouTube videos, and social media platforms. Suddenly, information, disinformation, misinformation, fake news and instant gratification became the new normal. This newly emerged power was instantly seized by many political parties, especially the right-wing parties, to reach out to the voters and push their campaign. They enrolled over 100 million subscribers within the first three months of Jio's launch. This became a boon to many political parties that used both conventional and social media to market their campaign, shatter the opposition and change India's political history. Let us now see how tweets became news. In the 2014 parliamentary elections, media played a major role in showcasing the right-wing leaders as aggressive politicians who would boost India's economy as the party in power. 
social media was used extensively to further the party's agenda and twitter became a platform to convey not only news stories but also important policy announcements ministers and bureaucrats were advised to avoid the media but they eventually fell into line and also started tweeting and so tweets became news earlier journalists benefited by getting a larger picture and a perspective on governance but gradually it became difficult to break stories get inside information or conduct investigations into government actions and policies since those who went against the government were slammed with defamation notices no wonder india ranked 142 out of 180 countries in the world press freedom index 2020 of reporters without borders the late 20th century and the 21st century has seen the press moving into technological advancements and globalization the advent of the internet digital printing and social media transform the way news is produced and consumed newspapers expanded their reach through online editions engaging with a global audience and providing diverse perspectives on international issues the digital era brought challenges and opportunities while the newspapers faced the decline in print readership the digital platform allowed for greater interactivity instant news dissemination and a more extensive reach much of this frenetic activity happened in the last few years dramatically punctuating the scene and pushing conventional media of print and television away from the front line traditional media is aggressively jostled with social media blogs news websites and messaging apps triggering a new revolution and changing lives in both urban and rural india now let us see what are the challenges and chances in digital era the indian press in the 21st century faces numerous challenges the rise of digital media changing reader habits and financial constraints have posed threats to the traditional newspapers however these challenges have also led to opportunities for newspapers to innovate diversify revenue streams and maintain relevance in the digital age newspapers have increasingly embraced digital platforms providing online editions engaging with social media and experimenting with multimedia content this transition has allowed newspapers to reach a broader audience adapt to changing consumer preferences and compete in the digital landscape The digital age born in 1990s has brought with it much advancement in the media and communication assets used by the masses. New media technologies such as the internet, online networks, mobile devices, digital televisions, etc., have fundamentally changed how people interact with each other and the world. They have also sparked a conversation over the relevance of traditional media sources but while smartphones smart TVs and 5G internet might be the advertised norm lifestyles often do not adjust quickly change is not uniform and occurs at different paces across different segments of the population due to socio economic factors while some households especially the more prosperous and urban ones are quick to adapt those that have lower incomes 
are located in rural areas or in certain remote parts of the country do not adapt as quickly. The study of this gap in media access, especially in digital access, has in fact gained special significance of late because of the pandemic. Due to the COVID-19 outbreak and the resultant lockdowns, a considerable part of people's lives have moved online and this has proven to be particularly challenging for less privileged households that have found it difficult to adapt to the increasingly digital environment. Numerous studies have already highlighted the digital divide and how certain sections of society struggle to cope, particularly with the online education due to a lack of computers and laptops at home or the lack of a reliable internet connection. Let us see what we mean by press as a catalyst in social movements. Over the decades, the press in India has been a catalyst for various social movements. Whether it be the environmental movement, women's rights or anti-corruption movements, newspapers have produced a platform for activists and citizens to voice their concerns mobilize support and drive positive social change. How does Indian press contribute news globally? We will try to see this. The Indian press has gained international recognition with some publications becoming global media entities Indian journalists and newspapers contribute to global discussions covering international events and providing a unique perspective on global affairs. The diaspora also relies on Indian newspapers to stay connected with developments in their home country. The increasing pace of development in media to the, due to the constant contribution of modern technology has made broadcasting of news an easy affair, thus having created a huge opportunity for the media to play an outstanding role in strengthening the society. Its duty is to inform, educate and entertain people. However, monopolization and corporatization of the media have rung the death knell for Indian media as their vested interests cannot make it uphold the best traditions of journalism. In a democracy like India, this can be dangerous as millions are illiterate and get swayed by propaganda and fake news. Narrow interests are likely to manipulate public opinion and marginalize the disadvantaged people. It is frightening to imagine what role the media will play in a changing India that is witnessing polarization of caste, creed and religion. Finally, let us take a look at the history of in a capsule form in a chronological order. 1780, Bengal Gazette's India's first newspaper founded. 1927, radio broadcasting begins becoming a state responsibility in 1930. 1947, Press Trust of India, a PTI founded. Now the largest news agency in India. 1950, by this year, 214 daily newspapers published in India. 1975, Indira Gandhi, the then Prime Minister, declared state of emergency. Free press suspended. 1959, launch of Doordarshan, India's public service broadcaster. 
1992 private TV channels come to market. 2002 India allows foreign direct investment with a ceiling of 26% of paid up equity capital. 2006 community based FM broadcasting starts in India. 2011 digitalization of broadcasting services. 2018 India drops by two ranks on World Press Freedom Index to 138. 2019 India has 1,18,239 registered publications, 17,160 daily newspapers, 880 plus satellite channels and 380 plus news channels. 2024 this year India improves its rank on 2024 World Press Freedom Index to 150. Nine. We all are now aware that press is the fourth pillar of democracy. We tried to see how press evolved right from 17th century to date, till date. We also saw how press had to undergo various ups and downs, whether it is during colonial period and later also. We have also seen how technology has helped the press to boom, to ensure how, in fact, not only the print media, but the remaining media also emerged successfully. India is one of the biggest democracies in the world and is ranked second in print media. News publications faced many issues and challenges during British rule. The press faced obstacles from colonial rule and illiteracy and had to overcome. The press was a major advocate of modern ideas such as democracy, freedom, equality and patriotism. The introduction of the press in India can be attributed to James Augustus Hickey who was responsible for publishing the first ever newspaper in India. The newspaper was published in 1780 and was called the Bengal Gazette or the Calcutta General Advertiser. We discussed uh, the beginning of the press during the colonial period. We traced the history of press from 17th century onwards and till date. We have also seen how press had undergone the ups and downs uh, either it through content or either through journalism or either through press freedom. And later we have also seen how the status of media, particularly the print media is today. We have seen that in by 2024 technology has undergone radical changes and we have also seen that the reader or the person who is able to access media is in a stronger and a better position to read the content, understand the content, analyze the content and get back to the media thanks to so much of uh, uh, technological advancements uh, like interactivity on electronic media or like even e-newspapers we are able to have even through e-newspapers the advantages that we never dreamt during uh, newspapers coming out in print editions. 